today I'm going to show you how to fix a liquid damage TI-84 plus silver edition. What you're going to need is 91% isopropyl rubbing alcohol, soft crystal toothbrush, a towel to collect the extra rubbing alcohol, Phillips head screwdriver, and a T6 fork. First step is to just take the cover off and then take the back off. Just set those aside and then take off the watch battery cover. And I don't know if you can see this, but there's rust and a bunch of nasty stuff. I already took all the battery acid batteries out and the rusted watch battery. Um, I had them in a bag but I think they ended up getting thrown out. So the next step is to just take all the corks out. So you should have six of them. I'll try to just separate it. cleaned up and then tons of nasty rust on the board. We'll take your Phillips head and see you see this screw here and this screw here. It's a lot of corrosion going on so hopefully we can fix it. TI-84 plus silver edition. I'm gonna wash all the buttons in soap and water. That's absolutely disgusting. And I gotta scrub, scrub all that off. And also I gotta scrub all this off. So this is where the rubbing alcohol and uh, toothbrush comes in. I'm actually going to get a piece of paper towel or toilet paper real quick. So take some rubbing alcohol, put it on a paper towel. Hopefully your calculator isn't just badly damaged because this is just ridiculous.
down with rub and alcohol and a toothbrush and hopefully that would the context of you be really rusted. Popped all the contacts out and they're all in pretty good condition. I cleaned all the rust off of them except for this one. It's basically snapped in half right there. As you can see, so I'm going to try my best to clean that off and then I'm going to solder it and see what happens. Otherwise, I'm going to try to salvage some contacts from one of my old TI-83s and see if that works. Yeah. Um, I also scrubbed and washed it all out. Got all the corrosion out that I could. It's kind of hard to get behind the watch battery thing, but... Definitely cleaned it with rubbing alcohol and everything, so I think it should be fine. And then got rid of all the crap that was wedged in those contact holders. Okay, so I tried cleaning the corrosion off the contacts and it just completely disintegrated. So I'm going to take the contacts out of my broken TI-83. Um, I tried fixing this one, but... The screen protect uh, the ribbon cable that connects the screen to the motherboard is or the main board to the motherboard or whatever is it has a crack in it somewhere so the connection isn't being made and I'm not entirely sure if that's the problem but I tried fixing it and I would have to solder like individual wires from an LCD to the main board and I don't feel like doing that so I'm just going to take the contacts out. Okay, so let's do a comparison. Take this one to the new one, and then this one to the old one. They look almost identical to me. it apart so better be safe than sorry
the truth. Fixed it. It's even at the 2.55 MP. Sweet. So, this is the worst case scenario. So, everything works on it. I have a TI-84 plus silver edition and I can give my brother his calculator back. <laughs>